mile downwind of a starving polar bear, that could really be all it takes. Remember the rule of thumb. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, best get on the ground. If it's white like the president, you finna be heaven sent. The African wilderness has some of the most vicious and violent predators on the planet. Some of them we've actually already talked about. So it says a lot that out of all of them, the one nicknamed Black Death is actually a vegetarian. The African Cape Buffalo erases about 200 names from the census each year. That's not counting the people that live but still get severely gored. They're also strong enough to ragdoll top tiers like lions, hyenas, and of course, people. Those horns aren't just for intimidation. When a Cape Buffalo charges, the hooked end of its horns can get caught under the skin and tear apart the flesh of a predator or a tourist that just doesn't know any better. Of course, at 1300 pounds, they don't need horns to end you. They can easily just trample you into a chalk outline. But there's another thing about them that makes them not only a walking obituary, but earned them another nickname, the Widowmaker. Cause one of the fastest ways to get a divorce is to tell your husband to go hunt a Cape Buffalo cause then you'll probably go to bed single. And that's cause this Widowmaker is one of the most vengeful animals on earth. A wounded Cape Buffalo will often retreat and hide in tall grass or brush. Now if the hunter has more than one brain cell, he'll usually just give up and leave the beast alone. But if you make the mistake of following the injured animal, then you run the risk of getting ambushed and knocked clear into the ground. And after hitting you, the Cape Buffalo will just back up and wait for you to get back on your feet just so they can hit stick you again. They'll keep doing this until you just stop getting up. And that's just what one can do to you. These guys can travel in hoods of up to 200. And these herds will often circle a possible threat, leaving no possibility for escape. And they'll just keep circling until one eventually sees an opening and attempts to impale you. And the same rules apply. If you're still moving, they're not finished. That kind of attitude is why lions cosplay as house cats when a herd of buffalo is involved. And why hunting one should come with a life insurance package. And out of the entire starting lineup known as the African Big Five, these murder cows are considered to be the biggest threat. But ironically, one of the most feared mammals on the entire continent isn't on this list. Yeah, no suspense here. Hippos are just waterproof horses with a senator's address from hell. Hippos put about 500 names in Twitter bios a year, and that number is probably higher. They're famous for choosing violence with anything in their territory, from antelope and crocodile, Bruh. all the way to lions, humans, and literally everything else. Like, if you have a pulse, they'll find a reason to hate you. In fact, the biggest threat to a hippo's way of life is very literally often another hippo. Because oftentimes when resources are low, bull hippos will see babies as competition and will turn the adorable infants into fish food. Here's a dark joke for you, where did the baby hippo go after the baby shower? Everywhere. He went everywhere. Despite being the third heaviest thing on the planet with legs, hippos can run at speeds of 30 miles per hour. And they can outswim you, or technically outrun because hippos don't swim, they literally run underwater. And I don't think that makes this video any better. But just like actress Tiana Trump, it's that mouth that makes him infamous. Bull hippos have tusks that can max out at 20 inches long, and they can slam their jaws at nearly 2,000 pounds of force. But if you've ever seen one eat a watermelon, you already knew that. Which is why the biggest mistake a croc can make is pull up to a hippo pool party, because it can end up getting turned into a purse. And the biggest mistake a person can make is getting too close. I hope this is photoshopped. Hippos are one of those animals that don't need a reason to turn you into a statistic. Hippos don't typically eat meat, but their attack style involves using that massive overbite and chewing a person into human applesauce. And it's the attacks in water that are the most brutal. Even if you survive, the toll for crossing hippo territory can cost an arm, a leg, multiple broken bones, and even a punctured lung or two. One tourist guide in Zimbabwe was allegedly swallowed by this land well not once, but three times. And you want to know the worst thing about getting deep-throated by this obese demon donkey? Other than the smell. It's knowing that your options are to either stay inside and suffocate, or try to escape and end up negotiating your left arm in the process. As for the tourist guide, by the time he got out, he had suffered 38 bite wounds, including one so nasty it exposed his lungs and completely crushed one of his arms. This man rescued an orphan baby hippo from a flood and raised him as his own. He even named it Humphrey and said it was like a son to him. Well, Humphrey ended up mauling and mutilating his foster father in the same river he was rescued from. That's honestly how most movies with hippos end. But at least hippos are so massive they're impossible to miss. The next animal is the size of a golf ball but could turn 26 people into a very loaded story on CNN. The blue ring octopus is a lot of things. Tiny, cute, and it's one of the most venomous things alive. It's armed with a neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin and a lethal dose for a human could fit on the head of a pin. Plenty of animals are venomous in Australia, from the jellyfish right down to the parries. But there's one disturbing fact about blue ring octopus. The blue ring octopus is so small that most people don't even realize when they've been bitten. 
and because they're so small and cute, some people will put the octopus in their hands not realizing they're putting their lives in the octopuses. Because not only is tetrodotoxin 10,000 times more powerful than cyanide, the neurotoxin shuts down muscles by blocking sodium channels. This decision can lead to muscle paralysis, respiratory failure, cardiac arrest, and then a permanent rest. Which is why one of the smallest animals on this list can turn you into past tense in as little as 30 minutes. And remember, you don't feel when this blue ring Bundy bites you. Meaning you can hold it like this for 3 seconds and then flatline in the same hour. And if you're swimming while that paralysis hits, uh, use your imagination. Oh, and there's no antidote. All medical professionals can do is hook you up to a respirator and manage your breathing just long enough to keep you alive. But with immediate medical attention, the chances of getting put in a casket by this blue ring hellspawn are actually pretty low. But with a bite that's impossible to feel, it's very possible to not realize you've been wounded. And without medical attention, the chance of your soul getting evicted suddenly becomes a lot higher. Which means this lady just barely Eurostep becoming a name on a stone in one of the worst ways possible. Cause anything that tries this hard to be seen is probably more toxic than future. That goes for octopus and people. This last one deserves its own viewer discretion warning because in some ways it's the most disturbing animal on this list. Not only does it have the highest human body count, you can be a victim and not even realize it. That's cause it's believed that over 1 billion people in the world are infected with parasitic worms. They're especially a problem in places with limited access to clean drinking water. But don't think this is just some third world problem. All you have to do is swim in waters containing eggs and you can lose the lottery and become a landlord to these parasites. Once inside you, these worms can cause a bunch of nasty infections and complications, but there's one disease that really stands out. These demonic flesh ropes are filarial worms and they're as thin as sewing threads. And their favorite hangout spot is in your lymph nodes, where a bunch of them can block fluids from leaving the body which can cause tissues in the body to swell almost like a disturbing cartoon. Which is how a worm you need a microscope to see can cause a nightmarish condition known as elephantiasis. The situation where your leg can swell